<laughs> Hello, my name is Manfred and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're going to learn something that is very, very basic to having a meal with everybody else, inviting them around for the luncheon. We're going to talk about setting a table. And this is very exciting. Okay, the first thing we do in the kitchen, we wash our hands. Manfred got to go over this side because as you can see today, we got the uh, tablecloth here, it comes into the sink, but that doesn't matter. We wash the hands, you gotta make sure they're clean. We just want to demonstrate how you set one place setting. And however many people you have coming to the dinner, it's always set exactly the same. And this is not difficult, this is very easy. Manfred today will use the chopstick for the pointer. Okay, in starting the table, the first thing that you need, you need the luncheon plate. It goes on first. Notice it's approximately one inch away from the edge of the table right here. You can see that. The next thing that we sit down, we're going to have soup today. Or you may be having the salad. So with the soup today, we have the soup bowl right here. Now, notice how we set out the knives, the forks, and the spoons. We have three, four, oh, let's start with the serviette. The serviette always has the corner like this towards the person. The person is sitting right here facing this way so that the person I'm going to reach across can take the napkin, shake it out and place it on their lap nicely. Oh yeah, we'll just set this right here for now. Oh, that's a little big. We'll just close that up a bit. Oh, that looks all right for now. Set it there. Now here, whoops, just move that a bit. Starting from this side, we have, if we're having the salad, we have the salad fork. Then we have another fork for the main dish that we're eating, the entree as they say, the main, uh, the main meal you're going to have on this plate. And if you're having the salad, like, uh, or if you're having the dessert, I should say, like uh, maybe the piece of the pie that you can learn how to make on manfreedinthekitchen.com, you have another fork for the dessert. On this side, you have the knife, and notice that the bread knife, the blade faces in towards this way, uh, to the luncheon plate, then uh, leave that there. We have the soup spoon on the outside and we have the dessert spoon on the inside. Now, here, if you're having uh, the beverage, this is called the wine glass. Now this is for the adults, you kids, so you can still put it on the table. Or if you're the kids and you're not having, and everybody else is having the wine, maybe you want to have some apple juice in this, or maybe you want to have the glass the same and you can put tomato juice, because you kids, you beginner cooks can do this. This is the water glass. Over here, we have the bread and butter plate. And this is the bread and butter knife. The reason you have the separate knife to, is because we shared the butter in the table. So you always want the clean knife if you're having the buns along with this. Hey, that's, that's basically it. It's very, very simple. You can see the pretty flower we've got here. When the people, oh, the one thing I want to mention, you notice right here, notice the edge of all the cutlery goes right along the edge of the luncheon plate, the edge of the cutlery. Now, it's very, very easy to sit. To make this up, it makes the table look very, very beautiful. Everybody has all the utensils they need and everything is here. Hey, that's it. That is all there is to making the simple setting at the table for the family who's coming over or the friends. So when they come in and they say to you, hey Manfred, that is one beautiful table you got set for today. And Manfred say yes, because it's a very form of, when you have the people around, you call it, the, in many cultures, breaking the bread. You eat with somebody. It's a very social thing. So you ought to invite the friends around, the neighbors, the relatives, the family and everybody because it's very, very social. Hey, that's it. That's the setting of a very simple table. I am no chef, but I can cook. And you want to make everything look very beautiful and it's very simple.